Hello students! Welcome to an exciting math lesson. Today, we'll embark on a magical journey to explore subtraction with rational numbers. Get ready to become subtraction wizards. Let's dive into this thrilling adventure together. Let's start with some fascinating examples to understand subtraction with rational numbers better. Imagine we have the rational numbers 2 thirds and 1 thirds. How do we subtract them? To subtract 2 thirds and 1 thirds, we simply subtract the numerators. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. The denominator remains the same, 3. So, the result of subtracting 2 thirds and 1 third is equal to 1 thirds. Now, let's level up our subtraction skills with rational numbers that have different denominators. Imagine we have the rational numbers 3 fourths and 1 over 6. How do we subtract them? To subtract rational numbers with different denominators, we need to make their denominators the same. This will allow us to perform the subtraction easily. Let's go step by step. Step 1. Find the common denominator. We look the denominators 4 and 6 and find their least common multiple, which is 12. Step 2. Make the denominators the same. We convert both fractions to have a denominator of 12. If we calculate it, if we multiply 3 over 4 to 3, both numerator and denominator, we have 9 over 12. The same will happen to 1 over 6. If we multiply it by 2, both numerator and denominator, the result would be 2 over 12. Now, our problem becomes 9 over 12 minus 2 over 12. Step 3. Perform the subtraction. We simply subtract the numerators while keeping the common denominator. So if we calculate it, 9 over 12 minus 2 over 12, that would become 7 over 12. And there we have it. The result of subtracting 3 fourths and 1 over 6 with different denominators is 7 over 12. Remember, finding a common denominator is the key to subtracting rational numbers when they have different denominators. Amazing progress, math wizards! It's time for a quiz. Here's the question. What is the difference between 3 over 5 and 1 over 5? A. 2 over 10 B. 4 over 5 or C. 2 over 5 Think about it and I'll reveal the correct answer soon. Time's up! Let's find the difference between 3 over 5 and 1 over 5. Step 1. Subtract the fractions. To find the difference, we simply subtract the second fraction from the first one. So here is the calculation. 3 over 5 minus 1 over 5. And that is equal to 2 over 5. So the difference between 3 over 5 and 1 over 5 is 2 over 5. So the correct answer is letter C. You're mastering subtraction with rational numbers like a pro. Now, let's explore how to subtract mixed numbers. If we have 4 and 1 half and 2 and 1 fourth, how do we find their difference? To subtract 2 and 1 fourths from 4 and 1 halves, we first subtract the whole numbers. 4 minus 2 equals 2. Then we subtract the fraction 1 half minus 1 fourth. And that is equal to 1 fourth. So the difference between 4 and 1 half and 2 and 1 fourth is 2 and 1 fourth. Congratulations, math wizards! You've mastered the art of performing subtraction with rational numbers. Now, you can confidently use the power of subtraction to uncover hidden treasures in the world of mathematics. Before we wrap up, let's tackle the final quiz question. What is the difference between 7 over 8 and 1 fourth? A. 6 over 8 B. 5 over 8 or C. 1 over 8 What is your answer? Think it through and I'll reveal the correct choice. Time's up! Let's find the difference between 7 over 8 and 1 fourth. Step number 1. Subtract the fraction. To find the difference, we simply subtract the second fraction from the first one. So we have 7 over 8 minus 1 fourth. Step 2, 
find a common denominator. In this case, the denominators are 8 and 4. The least common multiple of 8 and 4 is 8. So, we convert both fractions to have a denominator of 8. So, here is our calculation. So, 7 over 8 minus the 1 fourth, the both numerator and denominator, we will multiply it by 2. Then, we have 2 over 8. And for our step 3, we subtract the numerators while keeping the common denominator. So, here is our calculation. 7 over 8 minus 2 over 8, that is equal to 5 over 8. So, the difference between 7 over 8 and 1 fourth is 5 over 8. Excellent work, math wizards. Incredible job, students. Congratulations, everyone. You've reached the end of our subtraction magic adventure. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more exciting lessons, and hit the notification bell. Until next time, keep exploring and mastering the wonders of mathematics.